Coming to you from PA Biodiesel Supply, home of the Ultimate Force Centrifuge. Today we're going to talk about bowls, what they hold. Okay. Um, there's two ways of getting force from your centrifuge. You can either spin the bowl like at 6,000 RPM, um, or you can have a large bowl spinning at 3,600 RPMs. Okay. Um, this is our bowl. Okay. We have a two and a half inch lip. We have an accelerator. Okay, and in case you don't know, when the oil's being dry, pouring in, and when this is spinning, it tends to just flick all the oil off. Well, this is covering that. This is two and a half inches. Our bowl is three inches deep. The oil will hit this and be driven to the bottom. So that when it comes in on our bowl, it's at the bottom, so it's going through all the forces. Okay. Um, I think you really need to understand some of this stuff to really make, to make a good choice. Okay, this is the oil from our bowl. Okay. We're talking our bowl holds half a gallon. Okay. Um, we ran all the units... Uh, shut off the supply for 20 seconds, turn the units off, and then let everything drain out. Okay? At a half a gallon, if you have a 10 gallon per hour flow rate on this unit, this oil will be in the bowl for approximately three minutes. Um, time in the bowl is crucial. Okay? You can either apply a terrific amount of force by spinning it quicker. Um, or you can let it stay in the bowl longer. And they both equate to the same thing, cleaner oil. Uh, this unit here, we're talking it has just a little bit over two cups. That's all the bowl holds. Okay? Um, the time in the bowl, we're talking roughly 45 seconds. Okay? I, I, this, even spinning at 6,000 RPMs is probably not going to have the power of something spinning at 3450, 3600 RPMs with a larger bowl. Okay, um, on, on this one, the bowl width is seven and a half inches, bowl depth is two inches, and like I said, the bowl holds two, just a little over two cups, and the lip on this is one inch. Okay, um, this unit here, as you see, it holds almost half a gallon. Um, bowl width on this one is 10 inches. Bowl depth is 2.5 inches. Like I said, it holds half a gallon. And, and the lip on this is 1 and 3 quarters. Okay. Our last unit is, again, it holds a little over half a gallon. The bowl width on this one is kind of funny. It's seven and a half inches. Uh, the bowl depth is two and a half inches. It holds a little over half a gallon. But honestly, the lid on this is curved upward. Okay? And I'm not sure, because uh, I know as you get closer and closer to the center, there's less, less gravita uh, gravitational pull. Okay? You're getting less G-forces. Okay, so I'm not really sure how this all works. Um, we designed this unit, um, like I said, we've got the large bowl, we've got the accelerator, we've got the lip that's going to hold the oil in there. Your oil's going to be in the unit for three minutes, okay? I don't care if you're spinning yours at 6,000 and you have that small bowl, you're not going to clean your oil as well as you are with this unit. Our unit was designed, we're going to be inexpensive, we're going to be user friendly, it can be moved around. It's simple to get into. Um, people will have said about the removable lip, you're talking six screws, they come out with an Allen, uh, takes you probably less than a minute. You pull the lid off, and the accelerator is attached. So, I can get this cleaned out. 
okay, with one of the units that has a lip that's attached, you have to kind of get in there and try to clean it out. So when we designed this unit, when we went to the engineer, we told him what we were looking for. Um, not only did we want to design a unit that's going to clean your oil, but we wanted to design one that's going to be easy to use. Okay. Um, we're, we're going to come back to this time and time again. These are all listed as a single pass unit at 10 gallons an hour. I, I just don't, like I said, if you own one of these or if you're going to buy one of these, run it at 10 gallons. Then run it at 5 gallons an hour. Run the same oil through it. You're going to be amazed at what, what pulls out. Most centrifuges, and I mean even if you go with an Alpha Lavelle and a Westphalia, and if you're not familiar with them, they are the king of centrifuges. They've been around since I believe the late 1800s. Okay? They're multiple pass units. I mean that is, you want your oil cleaned? Multiple pass. You think it cleaned great on one pass? Do it twice. Okay? These are our vehicles you're running this stuff through. You're going to want the oil clean. Okay? Um, watch the rest of our videos. We're going to show you, we're, we're going to run oil, the same oil through at 10 gallons. If you, uh, I'll show you our test unit then next time. Okay, again, we're PA Biodiesel Supply, home of the Ultimate Force Centrifuge. Um, watch our videos. We're going to teach you more than you ever wanted to know. Thank you.